I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into this video, I want to ask you guys, smash the like button for me, subscribe to the channel, jump in right into the market. Did you subscribe yet? Remember, I'm giving away $500 in Bitcoin in five days. All you have to do for a chance to win, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Boom, free Bitcoin. Let's go. Bitcoin daily chart. The bulls have put in some more positive price action three days in a row. The Bitcoin daily chart is still in a, a downtrend, right? The, the bulls have to put in a higher high or a higher low to start a trend change ideas, right? So a lot of things change when this trend line is broken, when the price action breaks out above this level. Now, we, yesterday we talked about a bearish scenario where I mean, potentially you run up here to this resistance and then you could pull back. There's inverse head and shoulders idea or, you know, more of a move to the downside. So, I mean, it's all about to happen for Bitcoin. This is the Bitcoin four hour chart. And again, I want to see the Bitcoin bulls break and hold 32,400, potentially 32,600 right in this area. Remember, resistance isn't a line. It's kind of a zone. So... Potentially, you know, the bulls are trying to push higher into this strong resistance. The real test will be this yellow trend line here at about 33,300. Bitcoin bulls can break this level. Things change dramatically. Otherwise, like we've been talking about, I mean, you could get a retest of this support level down here about 31,000. And there's an inverse head and shoulders idea that could happen or obviously a larger pullback. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to say, hey, buy right now, right? Because this is where all the sellers are stacked at. You don't want to buy right before resistance. Now, things change and this thing breaks out. That's a different story, right? But until then, pay attention to what Bitcoin's doing. This is a Bitcoin one hour chart. You had this small ascending triangle broke higher and then this like little head and shoulders type pattern that played out and then the bulls showed up Probably a lot of people were opening short positions again here and bull showed up and trying to push through another retest of this overhead resistance. So will we have this higher low scenario play out uh, where the price action drops down here? And then this would give a lot of ideas for upside momentum for another push higher. But again, it's important that this low is ultimately higher than this low. Look at this Bitcoin move to the upside over the last hour or so I've been recording listen the bears are trapped the bears got trapped right here they opened up a bunch of shorts and they're they're in these short positions what if they this is the short squeeze we've been looking for could it be the bears are forced to cover their short positions and they have to dump a bunch of money into bitcoin longs is this the short squeeze we've been waiting for I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group this person up 440 percent on alice Alice up 60% in three days. Boom. This person shorted Bitcoin previously 519%. This person reached out and he said, Chris, thank you for changing my life. Thank you guys for changing my life. None of this would be possible without you guys. This person uh, made a thousand Australian dollars in a day and he's just practicing with small amounts. It's amazing to see people come in the trading group and learn to trade this market. This person, it was a joke where essentially he was paying for class while he was in class. And he, here's some of his, his trade. He was up $2,200 here since Saturday and paying, literally trading while in class. This young man, he was 21 when he joined the group. He's 22 now. And he 50 x his portfolio in the group. Boom. This is the biggest financial opportunity of our lifetime. We have to make it count. I'll make sure you're in the best and most profitable trading setups, period. If you're interested in joining my cryptocurrency trading group, go to my website, cryptorev.net. If you pay with cryptocurrency for six months or 12 months, it's 50% off. If you pay for the year, you get one additional month for free. You can always choose to pay on a monthly basis from month to month with a card, just click this link. Or if you go down to the description, you can click this link to the website 
If you have any questions or you need to email me, CryptoBitcoinChris at gmail.com. We'll get you on the team today. These are some of the recent winners that we've had in the group. 47% gains, 115% gains, 42%, 41%, 53%, 69%, 314%. percent Rune up 22%, IOST up 15%, Alice up 22%, possibly more now. JUV, the soccer fan token, up 11%. So Beam's got a bunch of news coming. I'm going to talk to you about a Beam setup I, I posted earlier. Uh, they've got confidential swaps. This is all end of September, okay? And so, again, the idea is where you get this hype cycle that leads to a, the end of a quarter where all these quarterly mo roadmaps line up for the altcoins is potentially in play here depending on Bitcoin. But Beam has confidential asset swaps. They're going to train the decentralized application team, a decentralized application store, DAO core documentation and support address book. Then they came out and they announced this news about the Beamer developers. They have something awesome heading your way soon. And I was speculating possibly it's NFTs or staking. And so Beam privacy has been a talking point. And I'm going to go over this setup shortly with you guys. I talked to you guys about a divergence indicator the other day. This person found a, a divergence indicator that works on the RSI and it just kind of makes things a little easier, a little easier to kind of spot these divergences. And so if you go into trading view indicators, you can type in the word divergence and you'll see there's a, there's a lot of indicators that actually pop up and just like to hear your feedbacks on, on ones that you like specifically. But it, it, he just said it, it makes it a lot easier, clear and simple um, to identify these divergences. He even spent two hours back testing this on various coins and it works really well using the 21 simple moving average. And so, I mean, this is really what you do to build a strategy is you go back through the previous price action and you see what works. A lot of you guys who haven't opened the charts up and, and you probably don't understand some of this, you will learn at hyper speed, get trading view, and just start drawing some lines. Just start, all the YouTubers that you follow, start trying to recreate their charts and things will fall in place a lot faster. You know a lot more than you think you do, but you'd be surprised how fast you can accomplish big things when you start practicing. This is an idea where something has changed for Bitcoin, potentially. This could easily be a fake out. On January the 14th, the RSI, daily Bitcoin RSI is up here, right? Essentially way overbought. And this has been in a seven month downtrend since January the 11th. Today, the daily Bitcoin RSI has broken above this trend line. And like I said, this could easily be a fake out. Bitcoin pulls back. This is it just becomes a fake out, right? But the idea is there's going to be a point where the, the RSI for Bitcoin is going to get squeezed down in here, possibly oversold, where you get this oversold bounce type situation, right? This would be another drive lower by the price action and then oversold bounce. And Bitcoin really likes to reverse major downtrends on bullish divergence, daily chart, um, RSI. The bulls, what's going to happen? The way this market works is the herd gets super bearish. Then Bitcoin starts making moves in the right direction. And they, they're potentially sitting in tether or they're just not super bullish on the market. They have money on the sidelines and they miss a lot of the move, right? And so you, you have to, there's going to be things that you have to kind of, possibly you've seen these bounces happen time and time again, but there has to be a line in the sand where you draw and you say, hey, if this happens, you know, I'm going to consider opening some more positions. So we're paying attention to this and I'll keep you guys updated daily, but this is huge. Amazon is going Bitcoin. Amazon, they're hiring for a digital currency and blockchain product lead. The payments acceptance and experience team is seeking an experienced product leader to develop Amazon's digital currency and blockchain strategy and product roadmap. They are putting together a digital currency blockchain strategy product roadmap. What do you think this price action is going to do when Amazon announces that they're taking Bitcoin. Seriously. I mean, you remember Tesla, Tesla announced, Hey, we're, we're, we're going to take Bitcoin and Bitcoin pumped. I mean, it sold off afterwards, but it was a considerable pump for Bitcoin.
Now, Amazon, and still a lot of people, I was, I was talking to some people on Twitter, or, or a lot of people are so bearish about this market. They don't even think this is gonna pump the, pump the market. And you have to be able to have a mindset where there has to be a point where you're able to flip from, things change in, in, in a minute, right? This market constantly, we're gathering data every single minute of every day. In a month or two, or three, when Amazon says, hey, yeah, we're gonna accept Bitcoin, or here's our roadmap, or here's what we're trying to do. Like what type of price action are we gonna see out of Bitcoin? IDEX, so yesterday, 9,100 people saw this video. I talked to you guys about IDEX moving to Polygon. I made this video. I talked about how it started to pump. I posted this setup in the trading group. It started to pump. After the video was uploaded, IDEX, Moon Mission, it was up 56%. What's important here to understand, Polygon partnerships have become, Matic, right, is the ticker. Polygon partnerships have become what Link used to be, right? Anybody that partners with Polygon, we've seen big moves in the price action. And so pay attention to Polygon partnership announcements going forward. All right, so here's the beam setup. I posted this earlier today. I was looking for a retest at this level and it did retest. And the most important thing I wanna focus on with you guys is, is this is a four hour chart. Like you're looking at one four hour candle that's just potentially oscillating up and down, right? Nailing a retest on a, on a chart, a four hour chart is difficult. And so what I propose is that you guys zoom in and then you see that you have this huge pump and then this was the re retrace where we we're looking for the retest and you see how it perfectly retested this yellow trend line. The same yellow trend line, the same yellow trend line is right here, right? You see that? All I did was zoom into the five minute chart and you see you had this retest and then you had a 5.75% pump and then pullback. This is called a back test, right? Price action came back down and retested support. All the buyers are strong here. All the buyers are, strongest group of buyers is right here. But understand like you have to be able to use the multiple time frames and zoom in to nail these these moves and these retests and again a lot of the initial pump had to do with this something awesome is headed your way so when this announcement comes potentially it moves the price of, of beam as well so and i talked to you guys about this yesterday where you had this parabola and then it continued higher um the the key level the bulls were not able to break above it. Then you had this falling wedge. You don't wanna get stuck here. Whenever I see a bounce of major support on a five minute chart, I'll look to open up alt USDT pairs. Like if you're if you're nailing down like five, six, 7% gains, I mean, it's not 100% gains in a day, but this is not home run season, right? You just gotta hit a bunch of singles, get on base. Again, this Bitcoin bulls are pressing, pushing against this overhead resistance, this key level. If you can imagine, if there's all these sell orders here, 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 the more attempts at breaking this level that we get, the weaker the sell wall is up here for the bulls. Maybe they can break through, let's see. I mean, the bulls break above this overhead resistance, things start to change. However, I mean, there's definitely ideas that this could pull back as well. Look, let's take a look at what's happening in the markets right now because Binance, these DeFi coins have been taking off today. You've got DEXE, which they announced a USDT trading pair. And so this thing was up like 90%. Hedgic up 43%. IDEX, we talked about nailing that on some news. UFT, Lit, Perp, Swerve, Kava. Remember, Kava's got some news coming. August the 12th, Kava has mainnet launch. And then Kava Swap is coming August the 31st. So pay attention to Kava going forward. MFT. So again, you see a lot of these double digit gainers are DeFi. And so it's nice on Binance, you can go through and see, well, what's hot? Innovation coins, proof of stake, Polkadot, NFTs have been booming. Uh, we nailed this Alice trade. CHR AXS is just completely on another level. Like this thing has been off to the races. This is the protocol revenue. They've got $95.7 million in protocol revenue. That's more than PancakeSwap, MetaMask, Synthetics, MakerDAO, Aave, SushiSwap, all of these other projects. 
Axie Infinity has been booming. You don't want to FOMO into the top, but these NFT coins have been very profitable to trade. I'm also watching this super USDT chart where you would essentially buy the break out of this level, take profit levels are over here. This is an NFT project that as soon as this level gets broken, you'll look for move to the upside for super. If you like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure and subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.